welcome to the sixth video of my conducting series. In this video, we're going to talk about the use of the conductor's left hand, the hand that's not holding the baton. Most of us have probably been to a Friday Night Lights high school football game or a college football game, somewhere where there's a marching band marching on the field. And you might notice that the conductors in a marching band, which they call the drum major, they're not using batons, and most of the time they're conducting with both hands mirroring each other. The left hand is doing what the right hand is doing, just in the mirroring motion. Well, this is because the musicians are so far spread across the field that they have a hard time hearing each other without a lot of echo effect so it's very difficult for them to stay together. So they depend on the motion of those drum majors to keep the beat. Well, when you're spread that far apart across an entire football field, if you're only using one hand, there's a chance that you're going to make it a lot more difficult for the musicians on this side of the field to really be able to sense your beat. So you add the second hand and it helps them stay together to just keep the music together. But that's on the marching field that's when the musicians are spread very far apart. Most conducting is not done in that setting. Most conducting is done where the musicians are sitting close together on a stage or in a concert hall, and they have an easier time hearing each other where they don't have to depend on you showing them the beat and easily being able to see it. So in that situation, the conductor is truly able to, to, to go to that next level of conducting where it's more about the musicality than it is about the time. When that's the case, you won't see the left hand mirroring the right hand most of the time. You will see the left hand doing its own thing. For instance, if the music is very quiet, you might see the hand like this or coming down, or you might see it going like this to make them louder, lifting, or even the fists together shaking to get them to play louder and with more aggression. If it's legato, you might see the left hand floating. If it's very staccato, you, you might just see the, the, the conductor doing something like this. The other thing you're gonna see the conductor doing with that left hand, even more than the right, although with the baton in the right hand, the conductor will do this, is cueing. Cueing musicians when to enter. The conductor's job is to help the musicians be successful in creating the music. And one of the things that helps them be successful is giving them confidence when it's time for them to enter, especially after long sections of rest where they're not playing. So many times you'll see the conductor do that with their left hand, where as they're conducting along, let's say there's a musician over there that's going to enter, they'll just take their left hand and they'll hold it, they'll hold it there for a second and then give a prep beat into the entrance of that musician. Or sometimes you'll just see them do something like this, especially if it's a solo, it's like a welcoming entrance. If it's something aggressive, they might actually do a little pointed thing or something, but it's that left hand cueing the musicians when to come in, but then also showing them the musicality with that left hand being separated from the right hand. There also are a lot of times where they're just not gonna use the left hand. They may be doing everything with their right hand, with the baton, they can show the musicality, they can show the time, they don't need to use the left hand, and at the end of the day, you don't want to distract the musician. So if you don't have to be using both hands, don't. In that case, just let the hand rest right, right near the level of your, of your abdomen and just let it just hang there and wait until the next time it's going to enter. Sometimes you'll see a conductor drop it way down. The danger of letting it hang down is that it has a tendency to flail around a little bit more, which can be distracting. But the more, the more important reason to not let it hang is the distance it takes to re-engage the left hand can be a distraction. Whereas if it's here, I'm not moving it very far and I've already got it engaged and can start using it again with the least amount of distraction to the musician possible. Last thing on the use of the left hand is as you become more experienced as a conductor and you work with more experienced musicians where time isn't as important for the musician. You can start a piece of music and they'll just play it together. Then the left hand and the right hand can start to do less pattern beating and more musicality. You may watch a lot of professional conductors and sometimes think, what are they doing? It doesn't look like they're showing music at all. It doesn't look like they're showing the time at all. Well, they probably aren't showing the time. 
They're just showing the musicians how they want certain moments to be played. And the musicians are knowledgeable and experienced enough to know that when I see the conductor do this in that moment, I know in the music that matches this happening, which means I'm here in the music. They know the music well enough and they're confident enough with their playing that they know the way the conductor's moving, where that's supposed to happen in the music. And that helps keep them together. But with a professional, many times the conductor, once they've started the music, they're not needed to keep the ensemble together. Maybe if there's a drastic change in tempo from slow to fast or fast to slow, or there's a fermata, which means the music holds, and then they stop and they continue. All of those things are reasons that a conductor's used to help keep, keep things together. But in between there, really, the conductor's job becomes music, interpreting the music and bringing everybody together to that same interpretation. So when you get away from just beating the time and you start showing musicality with the left hand, and then start showing musicality with the right hand, but still allowing them to be separated so multiple things can be happening at multiple levels, now the conductor's really at a high level of musicianship. Thank you for watching. For more great videos, subscribe to the Maestro Fox YouTube channel. To learn more about the Maestro, visit StephenAllenFox.com.